of banner on social media over the last seven months between these two teams. And Memphis is very confident they will destroy the Owls. Take a listen for yourself. And you know the sickest part of this, y'all? <laughs> they gonna be the FAU. Watch what I tell you. I can bet my kidneys on they gonna be the FAU. Now let me tell you this. FAU, they're beating FAU. I don't give a shit. I'm betting money on that. They can lose every other game. I promise they'll beat FAU. Will said they're going to beat F FAU. They're absolutely going to beat them. Drops the Yo, hey, this team's going to beat FAU on Sunday. That's hilarious. I know, dude. I, I know. Believe so. I, know. <laughs> I knew it before tonight. I knew it through the whatever. All I'm going to say is the FAU has no idea what type of tradition we have. Through all the sh talk. I just know we're going to whoop their ass on Sunday. Dude, I've known it. I never, I never faltered on that, bro. I know we're beating it. As you can see, both fan bases are super passionate about this game. Memphis is looking for revenge from March, while FAU is wanting to beat them again. Looking at Memphis, huge credit to what Penny Hardaway did this offseason with recruiting. He went out and got David Jones, St. John's transfer, averaging 22 at Memphis, Javon Quinterly from Alabama, Mills from FSU, and Jordan Brown from Louisiana. So expectations were certainly high for the Tigers going into 2024. They started the season on fire with wins over Clemson, Virginia, Texas A&M, Arkansas, and Michigan. This team went 13-2 in non-conference play and were top 10 in the country. Nothing could go wrong in a weaker AAC going into conference play, right? Wrong. Something very tragic happened to the Tigers. Kayla Mills went down. One of their better defenders, who is a sharp great point shooter, was injured for the season. However, they did bring a mid-season transfer in Naquan Tomlin from Kansas State. In. Still, they went 8-6 and six in conference play so far. Nick Boyd is going to have a field day on Sunday. We need to see Golden and Rosado in at the same time because Memphis has a significant size advantage with Jordan Brown, who is questionable for the game, Malcolm Dandridge, and Nick on top. The Owls are going to need to get Elijah Martin going. If he has a good game, the Owls will probably win. If he doesn't, they will probably lose. And we think this is personal and it means more. We like the Owls to curb, stomp, smack the Tigers 91 to 72.